Welcome to this short presentation showing how Corvo is bringing unprecedented low on resistance FETs to industry standard surface mount packages. Let's begin by looking at the Corvo silicon carbide cast code FET. We combine a normally on silicon carbide vertical JFET with a low voltage silicon MOSFET to create a highly efficient normally off switch. The CASCO is essentially a source switch silicon carbide JFET where the inverse of the MOSFET drain source voltage is applied across the silicon carbide JFET gate source junction. So when the MOSFET's gated on, the low impedance keeps its drain bias near zero, well below the pinch off voltage of the JFET. And the resulting FET is in the on state with a very low resistance. When the MOSFET is gated off, its channel is cut off and the impedance is high. The MOSFET drain bias rises above the pinch off voltage of the JFET and the resulting cascode switch is off. In this condition, nearly the entire voltage is applied across the silicon carbide JFET. This makes use of the silicon carbide's superior blocking capabilities. This allows us to use a low voltage silicon MOSFET as a control switch, often accounting for about 10% of the total cascode resistance. Corvo's fourth generation vertical silicon carbide JFET technology is the backbone of the cascode FET's superior performance. The vertical JFETs are the devices that are closest to the 1D unipolar limit of silicon carbide, and they offer the lowest on resistance for a given area of any technology in the 650 to 2000 volt class. The latest JFET technology uses a trench cell structure with reduced cell pitch, an optimized drift design, and reduced substrate thickness to further reduce parasitic resistance. The fourth generation JFET technology has reduced the on resistance times active area by 40 to 60% compared to our previous generation 650 and 1200 volt product. One might wonder, well, how does silicon carbide cascode FETs achieve a lower total on resistance using two co-packaged devices in series compared to a single MOSFET? The answer to this, to this question is clear when you look at the colored pie chart on this slide. Here we're showing the relative breakdown in resistance comp resistive components of 650 volt silicon carbide MOSFETs, including the substrate, channel, blocking layer, and contacts. You can see that the light green drift layer accounts for 10 to 35% of the total resistance depending on the voltage rating of the part. This is the portion that actually represents the entitlement of the switch, or what the minimum resistance is required to block a given voltage. The rest of the pie is essentially parasitic resistance, and silicon carbide MOSFETs continue to be plagued by low inversion channel mobility, and the channel con contributes about 40 to 65% of this uh, total resistance, depending on the voltage rating. Cascode FETs essentially replace this portion of the device with a silicon MOS channel with its near ideal characteristics and about 10 times higher inversion mobility. The cascode FET has a full 5 volt threshold voltage, a wide plus or minus 20 volt gate range, and can be driven with a standard 0 to 12 or 0 to 15 volt gate drive voltage. The cascode FETs also offer a lower integral diode forward drop of about 1 to 1.5 volts, as opposed to a 3 to 5 volt uh, forward drop for conventional silicon carbide MOSFET body diodes. This slide shows the RDS on advantage of the Gen 4 silicon carbide JFETs compared to the state of the art silicon carbide MOSFETs at 650 or 750 volt class on the left and the 1200 volt uh, voltage class on the right. In both plots, we've normalized the specific on resistance to that of the 25C value of the JFET and then plotted them versus temperature. You can see that at 750 volts, the lowest specific on resistance MOSFET remains more than two times higher than the silicon carbide JFET. The JFET maintains a significant advantage across temperature, with the MOSFET on resistance still being about one and a half times more than the JFET at 150C. At 1200 volts, the channel component of the total resistance decreases, but the JFET still maintains about 70% improvement at 25C and about a 30% improvement at 150C. Although the JFET has a steeper temperature coefficient than does the silicon carbide MOSFET, it offers a lower specific on resistance across the full range of useful temperature. Another interesting observation that can be seen here is that as silicon carbide MOSFETs evolve to reduce the parasitic resistance associated with the channel region, their temperature coefficient is steepening, 
and more looking more and more like a silicon carbide JFET. This radar chart captures the advantage of the Gen 4 CAS codes across key switching figures of merit. For each parameter shown, all the components have been normalized to the value of the Gen 4 CAS code FETs, equal to 1. And in each case, smaller or closer to the center is better. We've already discussed the on-resistance advantage in the previous slides, which again shows up here at 25C and the useful operating temperature of 125C. But beyond just a conduction loss, there are many benefits to having the best in class specific on resistance. For a given resistance, the cascode FET uses a smaller die with a smaller output capacitance and smaller energy stored in that output capacitance. So if we look at the high frequency soft switching, the RDS on times COSS time related is a good figure of merit, where the conduction loss must be minimized while incurring short delay times with zero or low current turnoff. If we look at RDS on times EOSS figure of merit, which represents sort of the minimal energy that must be dissipated during each hard switching cycle, then the cascode FET again looks superior. Finally, we plot the VF of the integral diode where the cascode is nearly three to four times lower than a conventional MOSFET. This helps to minimize dead time losses when used in the synchronous rectifier. So all of these benefits are enabled by the ultra low specific on resistance of the Gen 4 silicon carbide FETs. In order to get the full benefit out of this lower specific on resistance and resulting die shrink, one must reduce the thermal resistance to maintain good current handling capability. Corvo does this by further thinning the silicon carbide substrate and using advanced die attach techniques like silver sintering. These can reduce the junction to case thermal resistance by as much as 30 to 40% for a given die size. So the die shrink afforded by the Gen 4 JFET technology is shown here. Despite having 40 to 60% less dye area, the cascode FETs maintain a comparable or lower thermal resistance. These performance advantages allow cascode FETs to offer on resistance lower than ever in surface mount components. Corvo now offers a 750 volt D2 pack 7 lead SMT with on resistance as low as 9 milliohms while offering the best in class creepage and clearance distances. Recently, Corvo has taken surface mount transistors to an even lower on resistance with the introduction of the TO leadless or toll cascode FETs. The compact footprint is 30% smaller than the D2 pack and the low profile is 50% thinner. An ultra low 5.4 milliohm on resistance is now offered with the 750 volt FET in the toll package. The new product is ideal for applications needing low conduction losses and high peak current capability. In this chart, we're showing the new ultra low on resistance 750 volt FET from Corvo compared to the lowest on resistance FETs currently offered in toll packages. The on resistance is nearly one fourth of the next closest, which will reduce the number of components required and minimize the thermal management, allowing for smaller board size and higher power density. The 5.4 milliohm silicon carbide FET from Corvo has a positive temperature coefficient, increasing to about 9.2 milliohms respectively at 125C. This is compared to 40 milliohms with the lowest silicon offering. Currently, the lowest wide band gap alternative offered is a 650 volt 33 milliohm FET in a toll. To illustrate the excellent pulse current capability of these no, new low on resistance toll FETs from Corvo, we can consider a single surface mount component mounted on a PCB with a thick copper and insulating tim between the backside of the, of the board and an aluminum heatsink. The transient thermal impedance from the junction to case and junction to ambient are shown in the plot on the right. You'll note that up to about one millisecond, the junction to case dominates the total thermal impedance, whereas for times longer than 10 milliseconds, the low thermal resistance of the junction to case being about 0.1 degrees C per watt is insignificant and the thermal response is dictated by the PCB and isolated TIM and heatsink. So we can then take this model and determine the maximum current handling capability of the 5.4 milliohm FET as a function of pulse width. We're assuming here a heatsink temperature of about 50 degrees C. 
A single toll FET can handle a surge current of a, over 500 amps for up to half a millisecond without exceeding its maximum allowable junction temperature of 175C. The surge current SOA is reduced due to the thermal limitations as pulse width is increased until you eventually get to the continuous rating of about 90 amps respectively here. And this is with the heat sink temperature of 50 degrees C and mounted with an insulated thermal interface material. We can take the forward surge SOA of the silicon carbide toll and compare it to the lowest on-resistant silicon device in the same package. In this case, we plot the maximum square pulse width versus peak drain current to illustrate the fault ride through limit of the FET acting as a solid state switch. We can see that the new 750 volt 5.4 milliohm silicon carbide toll offers about eight times better I squared T thermal limit than the 600 volt silicon transistor. This is enabled by the higher TJ max, the lower resistance across temperature, and the lower thermal impedance. The net result is the ability to reduce or eliminate the need for multiple devices in parallel. And in circuit protection applications, it allows longer trip times and simpler designs. The server power supply world continues to push its demand for smaller size, more efficiency, and lower costs. As the power density keeps increasing, the volume allowance given to the power fits is getting smaller while processing more and more power. The surface mount transistors and especially the toll fits meet these deliverables with the smaller footprint and total volume allowing for thicker heat sinks. Surface mount components now offer even lower power losses and reduce costs by allowing automated assembly on PCB daughter carts. The emerging arena of solid state protection and circuit breakers is another area that can benefit from the new silicon carbide surface mounts like toll. These applications are typically high, highly space constraints and thermally challenged with enclosed spaces and often have no active cooling. They require durable switches that minimize nominal conduction losses and can withstand high currents when charging capacitive loads, and they must support high voltages when breaking inductive loads. The new 750 volt 5.4 milliohm toll fets meet these requirements with extra blocking voltage headroom compared to conventional 600 or 650 volt fets, and they offer the industry's lowest on resistance across temperature with excellent thermals for high current withstand performance. Here we show Corvo's latest lineup of Gen 4 750 volt silicon carbide fets. The surface mount parts are now offered in on resistances from 9 milliohms up to 60 milliohms in a D2 pack, and the lowest on resistance of 5.4 milliohms in the Toll L8S series. You can look forward to more options coming soon to fill out the Toll portfolio. As always, you can try out each of our released products in our real time loss calculator called FetJet. It's available to use with no registration required and can give you instant results of losses, efficiency, and junction temperature when using Corvo silicon carbide products in any of the 26 pre-populated power electronic topologies. Thank you for your interest in our silicon carbide products and watching this short presentation from Corvo.